Prince George's County State's Attorney is hoping that some 2024 legislative bills will help them more effectively prosecute cases and make the county safer. She and Baltimore City State's Attorney just announced their support for several upcoming bills that look to tackle juvenile crime. Our Tosin Vakile is in the newsroom now explaining what some of those bills are and what tactics each bill plan to use to help fight youth crime. Tosin, good morning. You can say the fact that these bills are coming up in Maryland's 2024 legislative session and the fact that state's attorneys are supporting it shows how much addressing youth crime is top of mind. And some of these bills focus on how much consequence young violators will face and for how long. And that includes those under the age of 16. On Thursday, PG County State's Attorney Ayesha Brave Boy and Baltimore City State's Attorney Ivan J. Bates threw their support behind five bills. The first bill would increase the probationary period of a misdemeanor from six months to two years in cases where a young person illegally wears or carries a gun or carjacks a person. That bill would also increase the probationary period of those found guilty of violent felonies from two years to four years max. And this bill also stands out because it says for any juvenile 15 years and nine months or older, the prosecutor's office will be given the chance to review and or prosecute any cases involving illegal gun or car theft with the right to seek the case be tried in adult court. Now, a second bill would also make sure that a juvenile found not criminally responsible or found not competent be detained on a second or subsequent offenses. You can find the details about all these bills on our website, dcnewsnow.com. In the studio, I'm Tosin Fakile. Back to you. And Tosin, do any of the bills address parental responsibility? Because some say that could be a way to cut down on juvenile crime. Yeah, one of those bills says something to the effect that there should be a petition that says if a juvenile violates their home monitor and a parent, parent or legal guardian does not report that, then they could be held responsible. A lot of conversation, as you know, has been going around the DMV dealing with parental responsibility. Coming up in the next half hour, you'll hear the one on one conversation with DC Police Chief with DC News Now about the same topic. Back to you.